Must be Honorton. Village from the notice. Except it's awful quiet. Necrophages. Great. Sight. Something evil's been here. Necrophage has appeared after. Necrophage has tore the body apart. Can't say what killed him, though. Sword wounds. Fire still burning. This happened recently. Fire still burning. This happened recently. Somebody's well off. Especially for Velen. A Leshen's head. Chopped off with a sharp knife. Well, well. Somebody beat me to it. Died without a fight. Butchered. Sliced open. Probably died defending its owner. First cut severed the aorta. Second hit the femoral artery. He died quickly. Didn't put up a fight. Blade pierced her back between vertebrae. Severed her spinal cord. She couldn't move. Bled to death. someone. Shit. Stop. A doll. And a child's footprints. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. Calm down. Just want to talk to you. Leave me be! Get her! Murder! I got 
got it wrong. I'm... You've cat eyes! Same as him! Same as... Same as him! The bad man who killed everyone! Did he have two swords on his back? Not telling you nothing! Go away! All right, enough. Tell me what happened here. I... I'll tell you. Or worse. They was haunted. Some spook. Of course, Sobermere said we best fetch a witcher. See so what came. Not lost like you, but... There were evil in his eyes. He forced the spook's headset. Uncle Silvermere weren't happy about something. He yelled, and they cursed. And then, he went to the barn, and, and... see to this bad man. This doll's yours, right? I'll get close and stay put. Understood? Sit tight, kid. If you went off towards the circle, that'd be the place to start. The stone circle. Need to look around. Palm print. In blood. Had his hand on his wound, slipped and leaned on his hand to catch his balance. Footprints, barely visible. Must be him. to give me my medallion? Thanks. Craft Solidarity is alive and well. <laughs> but our craft's reputation is on its last legs. Folk won't easily forget that massacre. Occupational hazard. Could have happened to any one of us. Well, what are you still doing here? I want to chat first, then we'll see. Take your seat. I'll stand. Now talk. Honorton, what happened? Come on. You know what happened. Know what they wanted to pay me for the lesson? Go on, guess. A hundred. Ha <laughs> ha, if only. 
Twelve. Understand, pal? Twelve fucking crowns. Barely covers my potion ingredients. What did you agree to? That several times over. But when it came time to pay up, you know the routine. Good sir, me young'uns are starving. There's a war on. Gods have mercy. Show some pity. Rings a bell, but that's no reason to kill. I'm not finished. I told them I wouldn't show pity. And if I didn't see gold, they'd wish they had the lesson back. They got these grim looks. Then the alderman spoke. Calm now, Master Witcher. Me and the lads, we hid some gold in the barn, so's the Baron's men would have taken it. Come, you'll get your coin right quick. I fell for it, like a fool. One of them chattered on while another jabbed me in the back with a pitchfork. So you decided to massacre the whole village? What would you have done? Gone to the local magistrate to file a complaint? I admit, I lost my temper. Lost it bad. I'm used to shit bounties. To the cheating, to them begging me for help and then spitting as I pass. But murder me? Just to save a few crowns? I'm supposed to protect horses like that? So I drew steel. And didn't sheath it till the ground was slick with blood. The girl. Why'd you spare her? Because... Uh, it doesn't matter. Wouldn't have asked if it didn't. Talk. Reminded me of my sister. How I remember her from... Just before they took me away to the school of the cat. How is she now? Died about ten years ago. Of old age. Well, we've had our little heart-to-heart, -heart, witcher to witcher. What now? A lot of innocents died in that village. Yeah, they did. My fucking bad. Got carried away. Not the first time, either. Right? Wanna kill me, Wolf? Fine. Draw your blade. Don't force me to confess. Stand and fight. <sighs> wow. So that chat, what the hell was the point? I give folk a chance to defend themselves, unlike you. Hmm. Awful chivalrous. A regular defender of the downtrodden. <laughs> so mind if I have a dose of swallow? Come on, I'm injured. Believe in the odds a bit. Fine. Drink. Much appreciated. Behold, a witcher with honor. And no brains! Sniffs her out. You're back! I thought thought you'd not return. That he'd hurt you too. I'm fine. And he won't hurt anyone ever again. So so you'll take me to my aunties? It's it's awful here. Sure thing. Let's go. Think, think I could ride on your shoulders? Huh. So long as you promise not to pull my hair. I promise. 
and hop on up. survivors. Well, except her. The gods. What happened? A bandit attack? No, a... Another witcher did it. Villagers provoked him. This be true of you lot. Heartless and cruel. Murderers all. Not all. He's received the ultimate punishment. Enough said. What of it? Ye think that settles things? That folk will forget? No, they won't forget. They'll continue to fear us, hate us. I've grown accustomed. Doesn't matter. Didn't come here to make peace. You'll look after her? Truth be told, you'd do better to take her with you. What? You call me a murderer and want to entrust a child to me? Ye shan't lead her around with an empty belly. There's that. Got four of me own grandkids. Used to be six, but we buried two last winter. Hard to live off naught but bark soup. Take this. Use it for food, and only food, if I come back and see you drinking. So much. The gods reward ye, Master Witcher, a thousand blessings! Time I was on my way. No? But, but why? Witcher's lot in life. Always on the road, on the path. Will you come back and see me sometime? Hope so. Take care, kid. Millie! Come, child. We'll buy a bit of flour. Your aunt will whip up some pancakes. Sound good to ye? What's the hurry, my queen? Welcome, Master Witcher. Saw the notice. Let's say I'm interested. That's good. Grand even. Name's Breen Hodge. I posted that slip. Gonna need details. Course, course. Well, through a series of regrettable events, I came to own a spread of forest ripe for logging, near Novigrad. At a distance from any roads, but quite near the port. Easy gold, right? Just hire some lumberjacks and count the coin. Meant details about the monster, not your business. Oh, it's all linked, see? I took on some dwarven loggers, but they came to me, claiming the forest haunted. Thought them lazy, nothing more. Then one day, they went in the wood, and only one returned. Said some forest devil had attacked them. Let's talk about my pay, because the current offer's just not enough. Very well. Let us say that's a price I'll pay willingly. I'll take the job. This logger. Where'll I find him? Around. Last I saw him, he was drinking away his pay. Said he had to honor his dead comrades. Looking for something unusual. <laughs> Welcome, traveler. Drink with me, you cocksucker. Fucking knock back a few so's my mates are raised peaceful. Something plowed them up good. 
I don't know what it was. Don't know who or what to cuss. Talk to one Breen Hotch. Told me all about your comrade's death. No pleasure. We tried to explain some horror was prowling in the forest. He refused to believe it. He's hired me. Wants me to find the beast that attacked you and your friends. Is that so? Well, I take back what I say. Good man, Breen. Though a half -way. Tell me about the attack. What do you remember? We were making our way out of the forest. Loaded with wood like pack horses. All of a sudden we heard a bloody howl. Like a wolf's. The pack leaders. We legged it, but then the cartwheel was stuck. Magnus wrecked a holler. They should run to the hut for the crossbows. So I ran. Come back to the woods. Bloody plow and massacre. Couldn't tell me mates apart. Thanks. Really helpful, that. Kill the bugger! Will you? As long as they play, they don't do. There was a fight here. Two dwarves and something big. A dwarf went this way. Roots pinned this one to the ground, so hardy suffocated. Wounded dwarf tried to flee, bleeding heavily. Clawed the rock. Must have been angry and strong. Deep wound on his back. Bled to death. Everything says Leshen, a young one. Must have arrived here recently. Need to find its totem. Crows serve lessons. Should find some near the totem. Not a lessons, birds. Old trail. Hmm. Ordinary ravens looks like. No sign of a totem. Lo and behold, a Leshen's totem. Now, to destroy it, I'm gonna piss it off, make it leave its lair.
Welcome, Master Witcher. I killed the Leshen that attacked the Lumberjacks. Oh, that's wonderful. Grand even. I'll have to find some new loggers, but there's no shortage of folk looking for work. But can I be certain, no other lesson will show. It's possible, I suppose. I have to find a witcher if it happens. Aye, yes, yes. Well, your due reward. I'm not the kind not to pay for a job well done. Farewell. Killing monsters is what to do. Hmm. Here to talk about the contract. Contract? Ah, yes. Put my mark to something of the sort. Seems a creature's attacking lonely passers-by, abandoning their corpses in gutters around Oxenford. Isn't that something you should look into? Perhaps. But we've a plough in war to win. I've got the time to clean gutters. Let's talk about the reward. Acquit yourself well and you'll not be disappointed. Redanian Arm is no band of scruffs. We can afford to hire a witcher. Very well. That I can pay with a clear conscience. I'll take the job. Need to hear some details. You'll learn everything I know. Like to examine the victim's bodies. A corpse is a corpse. I see the wounds. Might be able to tell what kind of monster killed them. Ask our saw bones. He'll know if the corpses have been burned or not. You'll most likely find him in the hut on the riverbank. Our impromptu morgue. Any witnesses to these attacks? Anyone see the beast? Some woman survived an attack. They say she's not been sober since. I'll try the tavern in Oxenfurt if you're willing to try talking to her. Won't give me any trouble with the reward, will you? Nah, I want this out of my hair. Watch your step. around for a victim of the beast. Tell me about the monster. How you were attacked. I'd need another bottle to get through it. I think you'll tell me everything I need to know. Bottle or no bottle. Yes. I will. I was leaving the inn that night. Might have had a drink or five. I'm sure I wasn't hallucinating. Something down an alley called me name. It was dark. I couldn't see what it was, but it wasn't no human. Of that I'm certain. What makes you so sure? I just know. This thing grabbed the end of my skirt, but I broke free and ran. That it? You didn't see much. Don't believe me either, do you? Fuck you! Fuck you all! The bracelet. Pretty worn. Silver under the gilding. Too big for a woman's wrist. Attacker lost it most likely. Victims. Oh, yes. I've not had them burned yet. Must get to that. You've done autopsies yet? Intend to? Why would I? Beggars and vagrants. Every last one stinking in cheap wine. 
mind if I have a look? In point of fact, I'd prefer you didn't sniff around. Gonna make me come back with a written order? Good grief. Pushy, aren't we? Here, the key to the morgue. Look all you want. He was drunk. Someone dragged him over the cobblestones. Fang marks on his neck. Vampire sucked his blood. Vampire bites and the strong stench of alcohol, just like the other one. Fondness for jewelry, wounds on the victim's bodies, everything suggests a catacan. Except this vampire marks the blood of drunkards. That's the way to lure it out. Oh, I remember you. What'll it be? Wanna get drunk off my ass, and it's gotta be on cheap wine. Trouble with the lass? Or did your enterprise go under? Neither. Just part of the job. I'll need you to pay in advance. Sure. And keep it coming. Once was a maid from Vic Faro. Tight at night she'd be loose tomorrow. Who lie in the Another maid from Vic Faro. Cloud with pleasure, drank with sorrow, till her lie in the Catacan didn't hear it. I'll try another verse. Long live, etc. Our third maid was not a fan. Gave it up to any man standing. Her life. What's the meaning of this? Such rudeness and vulgarity. Young people these days. All right, all right. I sense your blood. Come out and fight, bitch. I shall drink. Good. 
<laughs> Killed the monster that was murdering folk. Turns out a catacan was prowling the city. You speak true, but what on earth's a catacan? A higher vampire. A particularly interesting case, this one. How the hell could a foul beast be interesting? This one liked alcohol. Had a hugely inflated ego, too. What matters is you snuffed it out. Due some praise for that, Witcher. So long.